Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020, taking a look at FlightSim.to as I do from time to time. I saw a interesting freeware airplane available, the Boeing 747-100 shuttle carrier aircraft. And yeah, well that's promising a lot, isn't it? Uh, well, I do not expect that it is going to be exactly like the actual uh, shuttle carrier aircraft. That would be asking for too much, but let's see how close it is. Uh, of course, we only have one livery. If we take a look, it has the correct mass for the shuttle orbiter. Uh, if you put it too far down, as far as I know, taking a look at the webpage on flightsim.to, it'll disappear the orbiter. So you can fly the plane without it uh, if you put the mass low. Uh, and we have the fuel as you see it, but if we try to pump it up, of course, it'll go over the maximum takeoff weight. The 747 did not have its maximum range while flying with the orbiter on top and uh, actually had to make multiple stops across the country when it brought one of the orbiters back from Cape Canaveral. So, yeah, that is to be expected. And we're going to do a quick flight only uh, from Edwards to LAX. I don't know if this is one of the legs uh, as Endeavour was brought to the California Science Center that it is currently uh, deposited in. Uh, but anyway, it is a reasonable leg to do. Uh, I, I don't know if they would have stopped at Edwards, actually. Uh, maybe they just went straight into LAX from a further distance. But anyway, it'll be an interesting flight, and it'll give us a chance to take a look at the shuttle carrier aircraft. But also, I have another thing to test, or at least to demonstrate, because I've tested it a little bit already, and that is the FSLTL live traffic injector. This is a free real-time online traffic overhaul and it is fairly large because it has all the liveries of the real airlines. Well, not all of them, you know, most of them. Uh, 20 gigabytes of liveries and so it's pretty intense and I'll try and show you the window. So uh, you have to have the fly-by-wire installer and this is the same installer for the fly-by-wire uh, A320 and it also has an option for the Salty 747 which is actually required for the shuttle uh, carrier aircraft uh, shuttle uh, carrier aircraft mod and Salty 747 is uh, that one there Salty simulations and you should have 0.5.1 and so you can just install them all with this but this is the traffic injector and it's got the base models, that's the big package with all the liveries and everything. And then there's the injector, which you have to start uh, in parallel with Flight Sim. So I'm gonna start it. And then what happens is you get this little DOS window or a command prompt window, and it says all the information. And then you have options here for how many IFR and VFR aircraft you want, additional parked aircraft. We're presumably not going to have these at Edwards Air Force Base. It should have the real sort of traffic, so it's not going to put anything at Edwards Air Force Base. And I don't want to change these for now. These are the default values. Uh, though we probably should avoid the blank liveries or generic models. We'll see. So injection has started, but of course we haven't started the flight yet. And I'll show you that later on. So let's start the flight. Okay, so here we are at Edwards. I just uh, created some weather, so this isn't the live weather anymore. And I'm not flying live anyway. Uh, taking a look at the cockpit here. Just making sure everything is working there. Alright, uh, it is, of course, a glass cockpit. Uh, the 747100, I think, was analog. But the in-game 747 is like this and the salty 747 is a glass cockpit as well so that's not a surprise with a freeway we're not expecting a 747-100 cockpit because that would be quite a lot to ask for freeware uh that is a lot of work the cockpits are always the biggest part of the work uh we have a fuel low center tank thing so i'm gonna just turn off the cross feed uh or the fuel pump from the center tanks I think that'll eventually clear up that stuff. We'll see. Anyway, we cleared up two of the messages, but not all of them. This is what it looks like outside, and I hate to be nitpicky, but I've seen the shuttle quite a lot, so I'm thankful for the mod, just uh, know that. But 
uh, yeah. Uh, let, let, let's go with the easiest thing that might be possible to correct. The shape of the nose of the shuttle, and to some extent the tail of the shuttle. The tail is a little bit thin. It's actually bulkier. And the shape of the nose is a little bit different. It's pointier and has gray on the tip. And so, and also the leading edge of the shuttle is actually gray. It's not black. So, those are things. And maybe the shading on the payload bay door could be touched up. Uh, because it's a little bit too harsh. It's accentuating those ribs uh, too much. Uh, that could be like... Um, I don't know. I've seen that a lot before. Uh, I'll leave that to the modder to think about, maybe. Uh, I'm not saying I don't like it, but I'm saying that uh, I've seen the shuttle a whole lot. So, <laughs> I know what it looks like. I'm just saying. Uh, I could be even pickier, but I'm just going to stop there. Um, as far as the 747 is concerned, it is uh, basically the stock one, except for the little vertical stabilizer additions to the horizontal stabilizer to compensate for the fact that the shuttle is blocking the vertical stabilizer. So, yeah, those are there, as they should be, and delivery is, of course, uh, as good as one would like. Uh, the shape of it, though, of course, is still a very much sort of stock with the longer upper deck, which is a later version of the 747. The 747-100 has a shorter upper deck, and the shell carrier craft doesn't have the windows. Uh, I don't think the shell carrier craft had the sort of serration on the uh, white part, the rear white part of the engines right there. Uh, those uh, pointy bits, I don't recall them having that. And probably the curved outward portion of the wings, I think the earlier version of the 747 didn't have that, unless I'm mistaken, which is possible. But anyway, so that's that's all the well, that's all the pickiness. Let me just uh, we won't have any more pickiness. We'll just see how it flies, and we'll also see how the live traffic works. We're not expecting any live traffic here at Edwards. Uh, it is Edwards. This is not a place where airliners go. So we are going to try and take off here. Well, it's not accelerating like crazy or anything. Uh, as far as I know, the modder did tune the engines a little bit to consume more fuel because it is an earlier variant of the 747. So, that is a thing. Now let's take a look outside as we rotate. Uh, I went to the side because I started looking outside. Okay, I will ignore the deviation here. Gear up. Okay, well, there it is, the shuttle on the shell carrier plane. I wanted to add some clouds. Edwards probably doesn't have clouds right now. But having the clouds is nice. Okay, autopilot is in control now. Oh, we still got a little bit of flaps there. Whoops. And there's us turning after our departure from Edwards. I mean, I certainly don't mind even just having a NASA 747 to fly around, and I always like NASA liveries on everything I've got. Alright, on to LAX. We probably don't have to go very high. Oh, apparently, uh, the thing did generate some traffic at Edwards, or some stuff at Edwards. Here's the window again. And what you see is, it actually removed part aircraft because it was out of range since we've left Edwards. Uh, apparently those are now no longer necessary, but you can see some things that it had there that were removed. Apparently there was a Cessna and a Learjet, or a bunch of Learjets actually. 737-900 flight that was removed out of range that was going from San Francisco to, I think, Mexico? And one Burbank to Salt Lake City flight that has been placed because we're sort of coming close to its flight path, and you can see the information for it right there. So the live traffic injector is working, and once we get to LAX, we'll hear more of that. 
they will be they will be audible or at least uh, air traffic control talking to them will be audible as we get to LAX okay making a turn here wherever here is lots of wind turbines Lots and lots of wind turbines. Wind turbines for days. I mean, everywhere I look, there's more. Well, I, I know these these hills and mountains are windy, so it's probably a good thing. Okay, let's see if we can start communicating with LA. Taking a look at the live traffic window, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. But it's not just stuff that's flying out of LAX, there's a lot of airports around the Los Angeles area. And we see a lot of those being represented here. Hopefully as we get closer we'll get more stuff just at Los Angeles International. The chances that we're going to have to go around are pretty high with all the extra traffic now. Flight Sim uh, might not be the best ATC to handle all the real traffic, so we'll see. We're alongside LAX, it's over there to the right, and I'll start turning. We see an uh, airliner coming in though. Oh, there's another one below us. Lots of airplanes now. Mainly I'm interested in making sure that there's not too much lag at the airport. I, uh, LA is already pretty laggy. And also, we are interested in making sure that there aren't any fighter jets parked at the airport now. <laughs> Which would be good. That was always an irritating thing. I have way too many fighter jets in here. So they just populate the airport. Well. And also other peculiar planes that probably should not be at the airport. More verisimilitude would be good. And here we are turning with the shuttle on our back. Oh, that's a lot of fog. That's a lot of fog. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna take it off of autopilot. Okay, well, all right, all right, we have a clearing in the clouds now. That's helpful. Well, gears down. Clear to land runway 24 right southwest 2117. We are landing very heavy after all. That's the thing. Okay, this wasn't the weather I told it to have. <laughs> this wasn't the weather I told it to have. When did this happen? I had broken clouds. Oh. Oh, okay, I see it now. Shoot, wow. Alright. Well, we're coming in like a shuttle. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Don't do this. Uh... Alright, I'll go around. Going around Ray Eyes Romeo Alpha 412. They were not wrong. They were not wrong. Let's see if we can see. Uh, it's pretty laggy around here. But that's a lot of airliners with a lot of different... Oh, that seems to be a double airliner there. Uh, a lot of airliners with a lot of different liveries, though. Oh, why do I have the air brakes out? Shoot. Yeah, it's pretty darn laggy around here. But, I mean, it could be worse, th though, with all that stuff going on. It's nice to see all those airliners. That's for sure. 
Wow, the weather though. Who decided this weather? Uh-oh, we're not lined up, man. Whatever. Hopefully it's cleared up a bit. Wow, there's a bunch of planes right there. <laughs> there's one, two, three right in front of us. That's impressive. We're, I just stayed low. They're probably on the right flight path here. Gosh, we have to follow them? <laughs> Are they going for the same runway? I don't think so. This is serious now. No, they're, they're going somewhere else. That one's going somewhere else completely. So hazy. Why did the lights go away? Okay, wow, all right, all right. We're lined up with the wrong thing. I should have just landed on left. Shoot. Okay, we've landed. That one's taken off. And we've got cars crossing the runway. We have vehicles crossing the runway. That's probably not the fault of any mod that I have. That's just how it is. Okay, we'll go this way. I think. Well, at least I didn't violate ATC somehow. We're interested to see all the stuff here. We did not kill the shuttle. I'm guessing they didn't go to a normal gate with the shuttle. Uh, but let's taxi the gates, so it'll be more interesting. Do I get a taxi ribbon? No? I don't get a taxi ribbon. <laughs> uh, it is laggy. But it's, it's not unflyably laggy. We landed after all. And it's really nice seeing all the planes here. So it's uh... It's a question mark as far as whether you want this much or whether you want to change the settings for the live traffic. I think though we see the variation in the liveries and all the stuff going on here and the live traffic mod is certainly satisfactory. Well, excellent. It's wonderful that it's for free and everything. And uh, actually the shuttle is looking pretty good in this light from this angle. Gotta say. So anyway, that was... I think I'll just wrap it up here and like a taxi all the way. It's, uh, it's a busy place and they didn't give me my taxi ribbon. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.